Hi, this is Max and this is a video number two in the series of videos for Pullout Widgets plugin behavioral triggers. Uh, let's uh, refresh your memory and sh uh, show what we've been doing in the previous uh, video. In the previous video I covered when uh, widgets slide out on mouse click on mouse over and slide out once when element appears on screen. Uh, as an element that appears on the screen we used ID comments and let's demonstrate that again. The comments are below the fold and when we scroll and the comments appear on the screen the widget pulls out automatically. Now that happens only one on the same page, because, uh, once on the same page because we chose the option once. Uh, now, let's say if the same widget and the same trigger appears throughout the website, then of course this will be happening at least once on every single page. And if we refresh this page, this will happen again when uh, the same ID uh, is located on that page. So you might want to uh, use selected only pages to use this particular trigger or use the ID or class of the element selectively. Anyway, let's move on and choose something else. The next uh, option is when element appears on screen always. So if the, one, if the previous one was once, this one is always and when we refresh the page the uh, widget will pull out every time on the same page without reloading it. It will be working every time. So that's how it works. Uh, the next option in the list is slide out once after x seconds. Now, I already used this before, but uh, let me show you, let's say, set the timer to 3 seconds. And what's going to happen after I refresh the page? 1001, 1002, 1003. So, this uh, works after this timer countdown happens. And if I refresh the page, and we'll wait again, 1002, 2003. Nothing happens. Why? Because there was a cookie set in my browser that that has been done already once and it's not happening again. So a user already saw the uh, the uh, widget popped out and so basically the information has been delivered and it's not going to happen again. There is another option to uh, slide out always after so many seconds. So this will uh, zero down the cookie and this will be opening up every time after three seconds after the page has loaded. Wait a little bit more and it's again pulling out automatically. So you can actually if you would like to, some uh, users ask me if there is a way to uh, pull out widget automatically right away or kind of load the page but the widget opened already I would set this to half of a second, for example, and just basically refresh the page. As soon as it's loaded, the widget opens up automatically. Uh, so the next behavior will be once, oh, by the way, let's make it a little bit more fun and put it to 10 seconds. That's what I want to show you. In 10 seconds, unless you have a big article, 10 seconds is a long time and people are probably going to be browsing around the website. Let's refresh the page. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. So about now it should pop out. All right. So the countdown might not be the exact. Um, I don't know why. Well, it probably takes into consideration the loading time between the pages and whatnot. But that's how it works. So the longer time frame will work across your website, no matter how many pages you visited, and it should work as long as the as long as the widget appears on every page that a user visits. It will be counting down and it will be triggered at the end. So this is it for now and I'll see you in the video number three. Thank you.